you're going to take a trip to Dexter Township, you've got to come here. So this is the heart of Hudson, Michigan. The original Hudson, Michigan, the one that we now call Hudson Mills. This is downtown Hudson Mills, Michigan, the capital of Dexter Township. Of course, we're talking about the intersection of Dexter Pinckney Road and North Territorial Road, which are two of the most um, heavily traveled um, commuter routes connecting Howell and Livingston County with Dexter, uh, Michigan, and down into uh, I-94 for uh, drivers that go into Detroit and Ann Arbor. It's also a major connector from Chelsea and the areas of west of here via North Territorial Road all the way to US-23 where they can get into Oakland, the northern suburbs, etc. And this is also the commercial area of, of, Hud of Hudson Mills. We're looking at a zone here that is, uh, I guess this is about maybe 20 acres it's zoned commercial, okay? So uh, there have been various master plans promoted uh, that would, uh, uh, would build some housing and possibly retail development out here. And, and in my view, it can be done very, very nicely. Uh, you know, I would like to see something that is a, a, a service to the community. Um, a nicely done grocery store, for instance, out here, or specialty shops would be a great service to the residents that live out here between Dexter and Chelsea and Pinckney. Um, and so that they wouldn't have to travel quite as far to get some of the necessities of life. But uh, we're looking at the, uh, the retail center of Hudson Mills. And if we look north of here, there's a dental office. And over there, there's some kind of a uh, Frank Lloyd Wright building that I don't know what, what they're doing with that anymore. But uh, it's kind of a cool house, but uh, it's not occupied presently, I don't believe. If you look at some of the architecture here, you'll see homes that were built in the late 1900s. They may remind you of some of the older homes in downtown Dexter. Those are original village of Hudson homes back when there used to be a couple of, uh, couple of village streets in there, a couple of blocks uh, before it was uh, kind of raised and smoothed over. Then when you look west of here, you get to a church and a daycare center and there's a vet's shop down that way. So we're definitely into kind of a little, little commercial center here. Oh, and then a little bit further east, you get to the, um, to the Boyan. <laughs> Boyan Sales Company where they sell tractors and uh, farm machinery and so on. So we are in a little kind of commercial hub that could actually expand and probably will someday. But now we're going to take a minute here and visit at the, um, the only restaurant in Hudson Mills, the local Bear Claw, which was originally started up as a simple um, roadside stand uh, under a tent or a canopy where a guy brought in a pot of coffee and bought some donuts from a bakery and sold them during the morning rush hour. Through the years, it grew and grew and grew, and now it's, uh, it's part of a chain of maybe a couple dozen uh, larger coffee shops. If you're going to take a trip to Dexter Township, you've got to come here. Dexter Township Hall, which is located in the old site of the original Hudson community, the Hudson Village. Um, and uh, this is the capital of Dexter Township, the area known as Hudson Mills. Now, it says Dexter Township <coughs> right here, which uh, this is the Township Hall. But in reality, we are standing in the community formerly known as Hudson or Hudson Mills. I believe we even were called Hudson even before that other Hudson out further west of here in Hillsdale County, I believe, was established. We were already in position. We were called Hudson. And, uh, well, around 1929, uh, the state came along and de-villaged about, uh, I don't know, 100 or 200 or so villages throughout the state, took away their local form of government, and uh, had the townships take over. 
So my concern has always been that township government may come in and, um, and, and begin to kind of uh, uh, chip away at the sense of identity of the old villages. Um, we can't all be like Dixboro or Delhi that still has a pretty good identity still, but it's important that we have things like Hudson Mills Metro Park to keep the sense of place alive and to remind us that there is once a place here called Hudson. If you got concerns about any of the building uh, development programs or uh, the, the projects going up here and there for residential, for retail, here's the place that you want to go. But just be aware that uh, something that's on the master plan can't really be stopped once it gets to final site plan. So it's important that you stay involved in the entire process, all right, and be informed and, and, and make your local government know your views. Once something gets to, site to final site plan, it's too late, generally, to do much about it. So, um, so I want you to stay active and stay involved. Well, here it is. This is Dexter Township. This is where you vote. It's where the decisions are made on uh, land use. It's where uh, arrangements are made with the schools, with the uh, Dexter Area Fire Department. Public safety decisions are made here and with contracts with the county and so on to make sure that we're all safe and that we have good protections and good services from government. The township system was set up so that everybody in the state of Michigan would have access to local government that would be close, but close to them in proximity. That's a very, very good idea, and I think Thomas Jefferson had something to do with uh, creating that whole idea. But it's kind of sad that the old villages like Hudson had to be kind of uh, swallowed up by the townships. So we want to make sure we never forget that uh, this was once a place called Hudson, even though the sign says Dexter Township at this time.